Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to play with some Pat McGrath Labs makeup. It's been a while. I purchased four of her blushes from the Divine Blush collection and her quad. So this one is called the Venus in Fleur Luxe Quad and this is the Voyeuristic Vixen Quad. So I feel like she might come up with more of the Venus in Fleur Luxe Quad. I don't know. Is that just me? The box looks really nice. It's kind of a that purple theme, which is surprising because nothing is kind of that mauve or purple in her eyeshadows. But um, this is a cigarette style box, so I still have a little sensor from Sephora. I feel uh, it's not something I'm, I'm inclined to keep as much as the other boxes but what I like about it is like the shades are actually on the eyeshadow palette this time which is way more easy and practical for you if you travel or like if you you want to watch a tutorial not that it's complicated it's only four shades to be honest but yeah the components itself it's like a magnetic closure which is nice and for today's video i am going to create two looks and i'm gonna use the four blushes like i filmed previous days like to show you the application of these shades so i got the shade paradise venus which is the darkest one and so for this the component is like a little button here you have to push and push and pull at the same time i did not have any issue opening those like i know some people did uh, it was not my case so that's uh, paradise venus beautiful terracotta rosy terracotta shade nude venus right here and there's like a pearl finish and a soft matte finish in both blushes desert orchid which is very popular i think uh, people are really really intrigued and electric bloom i was really curious it's, it was not the first one i was appealed to but then i was like you know what i want to see how it looks like on my skin tone and this is a beautiful pink coral vibrant shade i would say on the website and on sephora's website when you look at the photo it looks way more orangey but it's a very very pretty color so for the cheek swatches you'll see i apply first a soft layer and then i'm going to build up just to show you how much uh, pigment you can get and uh, how much intensity you can get don't mind the placement i try to cover a big part of the cheek so you can see the the colors in action we're gonna play with those i will insert the clips at the end of this video if you're curious and if you want to see how to create those eye looks and hear what are my thoughts about those new products please keep on watching i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and also to follow me on instagram and don't forget to click the little bell right here so you don't miss out on any new uploads thank you so much let me know what you want to see next um i always like to get inspiration from you guys and without any further ado let's get started all right so i have tried all the blushes I got from our Divine Blush collection. So Desert Orchid and Nude Venus are the favorite shades I've tried so far. Uh, here, Paradise Venus next to Nude Venus, just to show you the difference. So obviously this one I can build up easily. This one I have to be careful. I feel like they can all suit my skin tone. You just have to... Uh, be careful whether or not you build up or you're light with your your brush but i think for today i'm gonna use my favorite shade which is a nude venus it's a very pretty color here i'm gonna zoom you in Blends in very, very easily, melts onto the, the skin or your foundation 
nicely. I have like little patches there and there. It's not the blush or my bronzer or the application. It's just I have that little thing here that is not grabbing any color. Just so you know if you're new to my channel. I have some micropigmentation and some weird patches since pregnancy. See, that's a beautiful color. And this is just one layer. And I think that's that's enough, actually. I, I don't want to put too much. Go overboard with it. There you go. And you know what? Let's place some in the crease as well. The embossing, like, is super, super pretty. I've used this twice now, so and it's not going to last, sadly. It's a very pretty color on the lid, too. All right, so this is how it looks on the skin. And I do think it has that kind of, like, smoothing blurring effect um, very similar to the Patrick Ta blushes the first ones he came out with I haven't tried the other ones with the cream um, very similar I find the shades are different and now the Venus in Fleur Lux Quad and that's the voyeuristic vixen this one is a magnetic Closure, which is nice and this is how the palette looks like I'm sure you saw it online so here in the mirror you can see that this shade here rose fire nectar is uh, shifting from that pink to that nice uh, semi copper shade and that's a new formula so I'm excited to try then I have twilight bronze which I'm really excited about because I feel like it's a nice shade for every day a nice uh, matte brown after dusk and a moonlight liaison. There you go. That's maybe nice to see the shift here. Moonlight liaison. Oof. Very nice. Rose fire nectar. Voila, look at that. After dusk, ooh, that feels very smooth and buttery. Very pigmented. Twilight Bronze. I'm going to start with the matte shade After Dusk with a Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease Brush. Number 3838. Just gonna do one tap on the pan. Very nice mirror. And I'm gonna place that in the outer corner first uh, and just build up and uh, just get acquainted with it just to make sure that uh, I'm not going too strong right out of the bat. Building up beautifully. I'm gonna go smoky today. I haven't done a smoky look for a very long time. It's a nice uh, burgundy brown. Very nice, very soft matte shade. Easy to build up, easy to blend. I'm gonna use a different brush just to pack on in the outer corner, something a tiny bit smaller. This is a Sony G Pencil Pro brush. Blend again. All right, very nice shade. I'm gonna play it with a Rose Fire Nectar and I'm going to go with my finger. Just pick up a tiny bit. Wow, a little goes a long way. You don't need much. This could be a top coat too because I feel like it has a transparent base. 
So you can definitely use it on top of the dark shadow and maybe you would see the, the shade underneath. That's, that's very nice. That's very nice. It could be like way more foil if I apply it more. I don't feel like I need to, but for the purpose of a video, maybe I will. I'm going to put more light for you. Okay, I notice a tiny bit of fallout, which rarely happens with her eyeshadow. So yeah, that new formula has a tiny bit of fallout. So definitely if you use a brush, um, be careful. Okay, we're going to build up that. So we're going to make it foil, but as a, a light wash too, I think it's a, a bit easier to wear for an everyday makeup. Um, but let's build it up. I'm gonna try to press down first so I don't have as much fallout. It is a fun color. It plays with the light beautifully when it's uh, built up like this, when it's intensified. It's an interesting formula for sure. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more of that matte shade in the outer corner and see how it behaves on top of it shadow oh, that's good and that. I'm gonna go on the lower lash line quickly with a matte shade I feel like we're gonna do two looks why not see that's beautiful that shadow blends so easily And in the inner corner, I'm not sure that shade will be ideal to pair with that uh, fire nectar, but we're gonna do it. Moonlight Liaison. I don't know if it's kind of like too pale to pair with it, but we'll see. So Moonlight Liaison on the dry brush. It's a very pretty inner corner highlight. Okay, let's put it on a tiny bit under the eyebrow. Why not? All right, and that is the first eye look. Turn my flashlight here just to show you that it's very sparkly, glittery too. And it looks wet at the same time. A bit more light once again so yeah the shift is very very cool all right let's do a second version with that same base on the other side using the twilight bronze shade so once again I'm gonna go with my finger Definitely easier to wear on an everyday basis, but I thought it would look more wet than that. It's pretty, don't mind me, but I thought it would look more wet than that using the finger. Let's go for a third layer with the finger because it looks nice on the fingertip. Very pretty, but it's not. I thought it would wow me a bit more. It'd be a tiny bit more glossy, you know? Okay, so I just uh, sprayed my brush. And now, let's see. Yeah. 
That's more like it. That's what I wanted this shadow to be. Kind of like this one, actually. Without spraying my brush, you know? That's what I was expecting, at least. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Not that I didn't like it before, but it was nothing uh, crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that matte shade. Just to give a bit more dimension in the outer corner. Right. I'm gonna do the inner corner with that moonlight liaison shade. Lower the lash line quickly with that matte shade. I have a shallow Tilbury eye pencil, like the pillow top eyeliner. I feel like it would be a very pretty combo with that matte. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna tight line and put mascara on and I'll be right back. All right, and that is the second look. And now I love it, but it needed a bit of work for that shade, Twilight Bronze. It needed a tiny bit more work than I expected to get to that kind of like glossy sparkly shade i love the matte i like that inner corner highlight i think it's uh, very pretty and i think you could do a full look to like uh, all over the lid with that uh, moonlight liaison it could be something very different this shade fire nectar rose fire nectar fun shade fun shade not for every day for my liking but it's something fun. I would go for this way more often for this look. But yeah, that, that's very pretty and it paired really well with that liner, that Pillow Talk liner from Shell Tilbury. On my lips, I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Amorosa lipstick. It's one of her new shades. I, I don't know if it's limited or not, but uh, I thought it was a very pretty combo with uh, both eye looks actually. Which eye look do you prefer? I think I prefer this one, but uh, I don't want to influence your judgment. Let me know down below. Do you prefer number one or number two? So obviously this formula is way more impactful. We can see because what I see in my mirror over there is actually pretty cool. My final thoughts on the new launch. Rose blushes are beautiful. I think they're very pretty. You have tons of uh, options for shades which is fantastic. I am looking forward to see a bronzer. Maybe I'm gonna put a tiny bit of that Paradise Venus. I'm just gonna place it a tiny bit higher. It's a very pretty shade too. So hopefully you can see the difference here. Let's do it on both sides. Why not? Almost acting as a blush slash bronzer, you know? It's a very pretty shade too, actually. I just, I need to be a tiny bit more tanned, but if you use it with a light hand, it's, it's very pretty. For the eyeshadow palette, for that new formula, the downside or things you have to be careful is the fallout. That's that's the only 
concern I have about the palette. I think it's a very, very pretty palette. It's a nice quad if you never purchased uh, Pat McGrath Labs before. That's a nice uh, item to start with to get to know her formulas. It's not an astral shade, that what I call astral shade is like that um, VR nectar shade or like super, super sparkly, which I adore and that's what made me a huge fan of her eyeshadow palettes and her, and her brand. I like that um, they say which shades are which here instead of that little cardboard, you know, that you typically get in a, uh, the box. I think that's uh, way more practical. Like, for you to follow tutorials or for us youtubers yeah and usually it's hard to keep like uh, if you're not like a crazy person like me and you're not keeping the boxes you're not keeping that little piece of paper so yeah it's a very nice one this is beautiful this is a nice inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight uh, and this one tiny bit disappointed with that one at the beginning but then uh, we made it work yeah that is it the blushes are great they are smoothing they are blending beautifully building up beautifully there's another one that is not available on sephora it's nothing okay and right now i'm just gonna show you the application of the other blushes individually and for that i did not really care about the placement because i really wanted you to see the, the color so i went a bit all over the cheeks I, I intensified to show you how much you can build up the, the shades as well. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the shade Nude Venus. Building up. It's building up beautifully. Put it on the nose. It does have that smoothing effect. I'm very happy with that color. It is intense enough for me right now, but I can definitely build up. Maybe for the sake of a video, I'm gonna do it. So that's new Venus. Electro Bloom. Very pretty too, but it's super pigmented, so you have to be careful. I'm gonna turn up the ring light. That's natural light. Yeah, I'm gonna build it up. I think that's a shade that will be beautiful on darker skin tones. Uh, or if you're like fair, you have to go very, very light handed. And if you're a nice skin tone, light to medium, well, you have to go first light handed and build up, but it's a very pretty color. Right, so that is Electric Bloom. On the other side, let's try Paradise Venus, which is that terracotta shade. I think it's gonna be really pretty, uh, especially when I'll be a bit more tan. I'm gonna go light-handed first. Okay, I'm going to build up. That's very pretty. I like that. I'm going to intensify just to show you what you can build up, but uh, this is very, very pretty. I really like that one. I'm going to show you with natural light. And I'm going to build up. So obviously it's a bit much. It's just to show you the shade. It's very cloudy today, so the light is 
bluish, but I'm going to turn on the light again. Once again, it will be beautiful on multiple skin tones. It's just, it depends on the, the amount of product you apply. I applied a lot here, I know, and uh, the placement is off. It's just to show you really the color. Since I'm going to take that off right away to film the rest of the video. But, uh, I really like that one. Paradise Venus. Let's build up Electric Bloom just to show you how intense it can get. I'm gonna look crazy, but that's okay. So yeah, you can really, really intensify the color. And it's not getting patchy. It's really blending into the skin, like into the foundation beautifully. All right. It gives you an idea, but you can wear a very light, very light wash of it, and it will be really pretty too. This is too much right now, but yeah, okay. Electric Bloom. Last one to try on, Desert Orchid, and a lot of you are excited about that one. That was the one I was the most excited about as well. It looks really, really pretty. Yeah, clean my brush here. That's one layer. Very pretty. I don't see any glitters or anything like this. I heard people complaining about that. I don't see that at all in mine. The shade is very pretty. This is the kind of blush I'm going to wear every day all right your thoughts which one is your favorite i think yeah new genus is still my favorite with desert orchid but I, even in the swatches here when i play with it maybe i uh apply it too much i feel i just really wanted to show you the colors um but you you should go with a light hand and build up don't go too intense right off the bat that is my advice. That is it, my friends. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next. Comment down below which eye look you prefer. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a great one. And I will see you in the next video.